Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with my first update for the third round of the Red Pan Collab. So if you haven't seen the introduction to this video, I will leave it up in the cards so you can go and check it out. I will also leave the playlist down below with all the other ladies who are doing this project, uh, so you can go and check that out. But let's just jump straight into the products, and the first category we have a product with cute packaging. And for that I chose this one right here, which is the NARS Single Eyeshadow in the shade Coconut Grove. Unfortunately, I think that I forgot to take introduction pictures for all of these products, uh, but if I can find those or if I can have a screenshot from the first video, I will leave that up from where I was when I started. But this is where I am today. So I don't know if you can see at all there, but I do have a little dip going. Um, it is kind of very focused because I am using this as an eyeliner mainly. Um, but yeah. Not too big of a dip yet, but hopefully I will be able to hit pan on this next month. Um, I would just say that I just need to remember to use this more often. Because I kind of have been loving using very light looks and not use eyeliner. Um, like I am today for example, I'm wearing uh, quite a bit of colour but no eyeliner, which I've been loving. Um, so that's why I've... So that's why I've neglected this a little bit, but I really need to get into using this again. And it is a really, really easy shade to use. It is really, really pigmented and it works very well as an eyeliner. I just need to remember to use this often. So moving on to the second product, we have a product of your own choice. And for that one, I chose this Colourpop shade in the shade Lightning Bug. So this shade is a beautiful gold shade. I love, love this colour. Um, it's really, really stunning. It looks like that. Um, and I've been using this tons actually. Uh, this is my go-to shade when I stay at my boyfriend's house because it is quite compact and it's easy to bring. So if I can find a picture of where I was when I started, I would leave that up here. Otherwise, this is where I am today. So I don't have pan yet and with these I always try to wear down the product evenly. Um, I am wearing it down quite a bit though, but I do not have pan yet. This is another product that I'm hoping to have pan on by next update but I'm not sure if I will. Um, I definitely think that I will have it in, within the next two months though, uh, but I'm gonna continue and try and work on this one and I do really, really love the shade. So next up for the category, a product in a palette. I chose a palette that I actually had in this product in a previous round, and that is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette. Uh, and with this one, I chose to focus on the shade Radiant Light, which is kind of a bronzer shade for me. I am wearing it as a bronzer today, so you can see what it looks like on my skin. So again, if I have a picture, I will leave it up here. Otherwise, that is where I am today. So you can definitely see I've been wearing it down quite a bit. Um, I definitely have a lot of wear, especially on this side right here. I use this almost every single day as a bronzer and it's been working really, really well. Um, it is kind of a perfect bronzer shade for me now when I do have... Um, I'm still quite pale. I'm, I'm not sure how well it will work once I start getting a tan, but... Um, I actually think that I should be able to use this up maybe in the next month um, because it is quite low. I'm not sure at all if you can see that the, the pen is quite flat as well. Um, but yeah, hopefully I will be able to finish that up in the next month, but it's not quite there yet. So the next item I have is this foundation right here, which is the Photo Focus Foundation from Wet n Wild. And the category is just that, a product from Wet n Wild. So um, when I first put this in, I didn't have too much left of this, um, and I'm going to show you where I am today. So you can see that is where I started, and this is where I am today. So I do kind of have used up half of what I had, um, and I definitely feel like I could have used up more. But again, I haven't been bringing this to my boyfriend's house when I stay there, so I only use this a couple times a month. I definitely feel like I should be able to use this up quite quickly though, but it's definitely going to be gone by next update, which is going to be awesome. Um, and it's getting to that point when it's kind of harder to get out, and I do really need to scrape it, but I just need to figure out a way to get all of this product out. Maybe to I will use a makeup brush and kind of go down to, to grab the last bit at the bottom. But I do enjoy this foundation. It is quite pale though, so um, it's kind of on the border of too pale for me right now, but uh, I'll make it work and I can always mix in a darker foundation with it if I need to. So the last two items I have are both eyeliners and the next one I do have is uh, the category a colorful eyeliner and for that I have the Colourpop cream gel liner in the shade Punch. So this eyeliner is just a really bright yellow liner. I have it swatched right there. It is beautiful and I actually got a more use out of this one than I thought I would. Um, it is stunning and I've been using this on my waterline quite often. I would say about maybe three times a week, which is quite good. 
Um, so I do have a line on my piece of paper where I started and where I'm now, so I'm gonna show you that. So you can see right there, that is where I started, this is where I am now, and that is my goal line. Since this product was completely new when I first put it in, I do not want to finish the whole item, but I want to get to this line. Um, I feel like judging from my progress, I may be able to get to there before the end of this project, but I'm just gonna, but it's just gonna be just about that. Um, I'm gonna try to push myself to use this more, maybe I can use it as an eyeshadow base and stuff like that, but um, I do really, really enjoy this color and I'm really happy to have put it in the project and, and get some use out of this product. And it goes really, really well with a lot of eyeshadows that I'm working on. Um, for example, look at today's all from my Pandos eyeshadows and then also the Colourpop Super Shock shadow that I have in this project. This kind of goes with all of them, which is amazing and I'm really, really enjoying this eyeliner. So moving on to the last item, which I mentioned is also an eyeliner. We have the category um, a sample or deluxe sized item. And for that I chose the Marc Jacobs High, uh, High Liner Gel Crayon in the shade Blackcore. Blackcore? Not sure. Anyway, I got this as a birthday present from Sephora one year and it's just a black eyeliner. Um, <laughs> Comparing it to the other eyeliner that I just mentioned, this is one that I haven't used much at all. Um, I keep forgetting to use this one. Um, I just thought that it would be good to get a tight line with and stuff like that, but I just completely forgot to use it every single day because I'm not in the habit of tight lining. Um, even getting ready for this video, I completely forgot to use it. I'm gonna put it on though after filming so that it's um, kind of on for the rest of the day. But I just need to remember to use this more often because it is a really, really easy eyeliner to use. It's really good. I really enjoy it. It's just that I forget to use it. And since I forget to use it all the time, my progress is quite minimal. You can see right there, that is where I started and this is where I am now. Um, so it's barely any progress at all. Um, and I'm going to push myself to try to remember to use this more often in the next month. So that you guys was all the products in this project. So as you can tell, I haven't hit my goal on any of the products yet, um, but I'm hoping to have at least one or two done by next update. I definitely, definitely feel like the foundation will be done, no problems at all, next update, so that I'm definitely counting on to be done by next update. Also, I'm going to try to finish uh, this kind of bronzer shade in the ambient lighting powder. I really think that I should be able to do that because I don't have too much left of it and I do use it almost every single day. So hopefully this one will be done too. And then for the two items that I'm not sure I will be able to hit pan on or kind of hit my goal on uh, are these two. The Colourpop eyeshadow as well as the um, Nars uh, single eyeshadow. I'm not sure if I will be able to hit pan on these or hit my goal on these but I'm gonna push myself and I'm gonna try to just to kind of get some more products into this project. And then finally, as you may suspect, these two I don't think that I will be able to hit my goal on at all. Um, I'm hoping to hit my goal on especially this one before the end of this project. This one I'm not sure if I will be able to finish, but I'm going to work on it and do my best to try to remember to use this as much as possible. But that you guys was all for this video. I really, really hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Um, and if you're coming over here from any of the other girls in this project, please consider subscribing. I do a lot of product plan videos uh, and all of that. So I hope you enjoy this and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye guys.